Hello friends, it is Julie. Welcome back to Pages and Pens. Today I'm here with the September Unplugged Book Box unboxing. Let's jump right into it. September's box reached me today. It's the 10th, which is my birthday. So this is my little birthday present to myself um, in a completely label-free box. Like this is an unbranded box. This is their anniversary edition. So I know it's, you know, bigger, better. They always go hard on their anniversary and I'm very excited about it. The fact that it came on my birthday is just a little extra surprise for myself. Just a little extra treaty treat with my water bottle here. Do I remember the book? I don't think so. Do I remember the theme? Also, maybe not. Maybe not. But we're going to figure it all out together. I do know that there's an advert or like a little thing in here to remind everybody about my special editions of Unplugged Book Box um, books for A Curse in Ash and A Prophecy in Ash. That will be in the bottom of this. We can talk about that then, but shut up. I just saw something. Uh, this is Light in the Dark. It's an Unplugged Book Box fourth anniversary box, um, adult fiction. I am so excited. We have our little spoiler card. We also have October sneak peeks. We'll get into all that later. I will set the spoilers out, but I just saw I just saw something that I am so excited about and it was, I believed the craft product that we didn't get in another box that maybe they switched to this one. So excited. It's a, it's a diamond painting. They sent us a diamond painting. Like, are you kidding me? I'm going to unravel it and show you. It says that it's a library scene diamond painting. Books can be a source of light in an otherwise dark world. Gorgeous Diamond Paintings was designed by Veronica Lexum, Lexum, Lexum for this box. It features Easter eggs from some beloved fandoms, which do you see? Diamond Paintings are a great way to unplug. I'm going to do this. I've been telling um, everybody that I kind of want to get back into diamond painting, and I just haven't had time to, but this might be what makes me go back to it. Full transparency. I'm so Oh my goodness, it's not tiny. Holy crud. Okay. We get all the drills. We get the little um, boat and the pen. Oh, okay. So some of this is not going to be easy to see because it is, um, well, it's dark and a lot of the detail comes later. But I see a crown. I see like a Game of Thrones. I see a Beauty and the Beast. Um, that might be it. That might be all that I can tell on this particular one. Uh, but I will show you. It's this. It is a, a library scene. Nope, you can't see because paper. But there's a clock. There is a, uh, nope, a lion over here on a shield. Uh, in the middle here is the rose. You see it? Can you see it? Maybe? I don't know. Yes, maybe. Am I stupid excited? Yes. Yes, I am. It is a round drill kit which is fine. I don't see any ABs, which are like the special shiny ones, but like they literally give you everything. So if you're brand new to diamond painting, you get everything you need in this. Guys, that makes me so excited. Okay. I'm going to put this up here. Do I want to start that tonight? Maybe, maybe I do. There's still so much more in here. Um, I can't. We have Sleepy Hollow Body Lotion, Black Amber Pralines, and Caramel from Fiction Bath Co. Oh, oh, that smells like a fall candle, like a fall latte. It's very fall centered and I freaking love it. And I also love Fiction Bath Co. Like I just keep their lotions around and I just continuously use them while I'm at my desk. Um, I love the smell of that. That is very exciting. A skull. It's a skull. And let me see if I can show it to you. It's inside of a lovely bag. And this says that it is a spooky shower steamer. And it is by Petrichor Inc. So this says it's a haunted bookstore shower steamer. And it has the ingredients. But we have just like a bath bomb. And you can see... It is a skull. Very black and very spooky as well, but pretty cool. And um, I'm going to my niece and nephew's birthday party tomorrow, and my niece 
first of all, loves spooky things. She's seven, but she also loves bath bombs. So I will be giving that to her because I don't have a bathtub, but my nieces and nephews always love getting them. So I pass them along. Um, let me get everything else out of the box because we do have a couple of uh, squiggle swigs in this and it's becoming a little bit much. We have two boxes. One is our tea party set. I don't know what that one is. And this is a heavy item. These are the two collectible things, I believe. This is a candle. Nope. Welcome to Fillory from Lev Grossman's The Magician series. This is from Bath Apothecary and designed by Typical Ghost. <gasps> That's right. Guys, they were doing new candles and this is gorgeous. Holy crap. First of all, it does smell really good, but the collectible things are the fact that like the candles are gorgeous. You can reuse these for sure. So this says life is a risk up on the top. You can see life is a risk. And then it has black matte. Guys, wait for it. Look at that label. That's so cool. It's a soy candle. I'm so excited that this is what we're going to be getting. I'm going to have these all along the back of my shelf and it came really nicely wrapped up. Okay. And then we have our tea set, which we're going to get into. And I did spoil myself for the theme because I can see it on here. My camera overheated. I'm sorry, but I was just pulling out my teacup and my saucer and they are Dracula themed. I did open up the, um, bubble wrap on these while we waited. It's very pretty. There are darknesses in life and there are lights and you are one of the lights very pretty and then our cup is also very cute and it fits inside the teacup area so we've got dracula and some bats we got a castle is that a castle or a gate and a little person and a girl with books and a bat with a message and it sits in there very nicely like i really like that set that set makes me happy we have a couple of things we have a letter from the author a book plate our book which is a hardback is a big one and then our little notice here so this is information about their twisted retreat horror box that's launching soon which i'm so excited about monthly horror subscription box beginning from october 2022 not for the faint of heart exclusive horror books six plus exclusive horror themed products book only option also available i will probably be doing the book only option but i am very excited about it and then on the other side of that is a new exclusive book alert Whose could it be? No exclusive book alert. And then uh, the options for purchasing. So this says the basics. The sequel for our January 2022 adult fiction book is here and available in a beautifully exclusive print. If you missed January's adult box, we have a full package available with both the first and second books. Full package is $43 plus shipping and handling, exclusive copy of A Curse in Ash first book, and an exclusive copy of A Prophecy in Ash sequel. Exclusive candle inspired by the series with input from Julia Zantopoulos. Not mentioned there is you will also get a signed book plate for both of the books and a tarot card. Sequel package is $25 plus shipping and handling and you will get a Prophecy in Ash which is the exclusive and an exclusive candle inspired by the series with input from Julia Zantopoulos. Tarot card book plate is available now at Unplugged in the shop shipping in late October. Now is the time to pre-order these so we know how many books to order. Just saying. So we have our a book plate and our card it's a very spoopy card you see like the skull in there next month is the first month that we are getting an exclusive hardback with um sprayed edges or like stenciled edges and an exclusive dust jacket that i think is reversible so it's like i think it might even be an exclusive hardback like actual physical foiled hardback but i think the adult october fiction box is already sold out so wait list yourself if you want to start getting these because I think the next several books are all going to be kind of along the same line of exclusive hardbacks with special um, copies so we got The Last Housewife by Ashley Winstead look at that cover that is so pretty Jennifer Hillier blurbed it and I love Jennifer Hillier's books 
While in college in New York, Shay Evans and her best friend met a captivating man who seduced them into a web of lives about the way the world works, bringing them under his thrall. By senior year, Shay and her friend were the only ones who managed to escape. Now, eight years later, Shay built a new life in a tiny Texas suburb. But when she hears the horrifying news of Laurel's death delivered of all ways by her favorite true crime podcast crusader, she begins to suspect that the past she thought she buried is still very much alive and the predator is more dangerous than ever. Recruiting the help of a podcast host, Shay goes back to the place she vowed never to return in search of answers. As she follows the threads of her friend's life, she's pulled into a dark, seductive world where wealth and privilege oh, shield brutal philosophies that feel all too familiar. When Shay's obsession with uncovering the truth becomes so consuming that she can no longer separate her desires for justice from the darker desires newly reawakened, she must confront the depths of her own complicity and conditioning. But in a world built for men to rule, both inside the cult and outside of it, is justice even possible? And if so, how far will she go to get it? We also have a book plate. It's in silver, so it might be hard to see. I will have listed down below a link for Unplugged, for my book boxes, for this book box. I'm so genuinely excited about this. Another like absolutely crushed theme for their anniversary. I love everything. I cannot believe we got a diamond painting. So celebrate Halloween in style with Unplugged's popular October boxes and don't forget to join the waitlist for Twisted Retreat at twistedretreat.com for our new horror box. Uh, both October boxes will have exclusive hardcover books with stenciled edges. The um, adult one will be Face Your Fears. Nope. The adult one will be Face Your Demons and the uh, YA one will be through the portal. Both of these have been revealed on their Instagram stories. You can scroll through and see what the book is. I'm pretty dang excited for the adult one and I'm excited to see how they're going to make it exclusive. Regardless, I love their October stuff. Am I excited for the October box? Yes. Am I also excited for their Twisted Retreat? Also yes. Happy birthday to me. I'm very, very happy with this box. That is going to be all for this one. If you liked it, be sure to give me a big thumbs up, click subscribe, let me know down below which one of these items would have been your favorite, and I will see you in the next one. Bye, friends.